evening, live from New York City, the Gay Cable Network and its affiliated stations coast to coast are proud to present Be My Guest with your hostess, the dazzling Miss Sybil Brunchen. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, studio audience. Thank you, audience at home, for joining us. This is, in fact, Be My Guest. You have not tuned in to Robin Bird's Bang Your Box or <laughs> Bounce Your Boobs or... Um, Fix Your Box. <laughs> Bergdorf Your Buns or whatever it is. No, I am not wearing a macrame outfit. I am wearing a um, lame outfit. I am wearing gold lame, and I didn't make this at home like Robin does. Robin used to be a craft girl, and then she found that if she wore some of her own hanging planters <laughs> and danced about and did a song that she sang herself. Who sings that for her? Does she sing that she song herself? Sings. She sings Bang Your Box? Well, I thought it was Fran Allison, Allison from the old Kukla, Fran and Ollie show. Anyway, um, this is not Bang Your Box or, or Midnight Blue or any of those programs. It is another cable television program called Be My Guest. Be My Guest. And by the way, before we introduce anyone or tell you anything about this program, there is another Be My Guest on the air. Who is the host of that program? We'll have them killed. All right, now. <laughs> No, it's a daytime show, it's a Saturday night show, and it's a woman who interviews strange people who throw pottery or, or <laughs> do straight, or make macrame bikinis for unfortunate celebrities who have no girl. careers, or I don't know what. It's but it's a very Steven. scary show, and that is not This Be My Guest. This Be My Guest is coming to you live, live um, from Cafe 88, 88's down in the village, and it's a wonderful little supper club. You must join us down here. And we have a panel of talented people, unlike the other Be My Guest. And they are not naked, unlike Robin Bird's show. Now, if Robin Bird were the host of this show, you would all be expected to sit there naked and discuss your exciting film oh. careers. Now, I think that's, that's something to be thankful for. I don't make you get naked to do this show, do I? Olivia Negron. Well, I certainly would get naked if you asked me to, Sybil. Ask. Stunned silence all Ask. around. Have the one in the back on my Ask. face. <laughs> Exclamation point comes out of the back of her head. <laughs> Olivia Negron. I'm Let's shocked. give her applause. <laughs> and as you know, she's just back from L.A. from her successful acting career, but we're going to put an end to that. I am asking you as the MC of this show to get naked <laughs> for our audience. Ladies and gentlemen, applause. Now. <laughs> na, 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 na. No, 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 no. <laughs> Oh, Olivia. You don't get I, the view I do from here. Olivia, I'm sure many of our home audience and our, our studio audience would love to see you um, au natural or in disbillé, as we say Thank in French. <laughs> <laughs> she is so gorgeous, but it would be interesting to see if being freed of the constrictions of clothes, freer, more uninhibited, yes, she yes. might come up with the names even faster than she already does of our mystery guest. Perhaps not. All right. Mr. Oldham might, though. Um, Mr. Oldham is on her right. Kevin Oldham, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, Sybil. Kevin. Yes, dear. Now, I know you have a wide variety of brooches there and the voodoo pearls, but my dear, if you were naked, I'm afraid it wouldn't be enough to cover your <clears throat> talent, shall we say. <laughs> oh, Sybil, you're very kind. Oh, well, <laughs> I'm not very kind. I'm very observant. And thank you for that rocks date last the week rocks, at the Ramada Inn. <laughs> <laughs> my dear. Did you take the ashtray? <laughs> no, I took the towels in the bathroom. Oh, okay. I couldn't remember. <laughs> and I always steal shampoos from hotels. I steal um, champagne. Try that, dear. Yes, that would be nice. Uh, you're the one who skips out there without paying your bill. And by the way, we have Ooh. to do something about but that. you have the charge card. Oh, well. Um, on your right is Suka. Suka, how are you tonight? Fine, just fine. Is there anything you're going to steal when you move to L.A.? Um, a Beach Boys heart. They're hearts. Yeah. Yes. Oh. We'll are wait and see for that. You're not so. going to be Am living I... in hotels there, though, are you? No, a no. A truck. She'll stay at the Chateau Marmont. A Winnebago. No, no, no. <laughs> that's right. Suka did say that you were going to pack up your furs and your jewels and go by truck. Yes. Like yes. the Clampets. Yes, I decided to do that because we build character and I also... Oh, calm yourself. I could, you know, experience the country like, you know, and see what other people look and live like across the country because I think I'm going to be quite shocked. So I'm going to experience that and go across the country and actually expose myself She's to other auras and energies that I might like not That's like John be. Steinbeck. Yeah. Yeah. Only if he travels with Charlene instead of travels with Charlie. He's going to ride That's a marvelous. donkey in the Grand Canyon. Oh, well, I wouldn't go that far. Actually, right. Suka, if you get a poodle, you could go across, you know, across the country with a poodle on a leash, a diamond collar. It would be my travels with Fifi, and you could see how people live. It would be very exotic, I think. 
You might write a famous book like The Grapes of Wrath or, or something. On the Road. On the Road. <laughs> Other shows like that. Go home again. Well, we're going to start with the videotaping the entire trip and then we'll go from there. So Are you? Ah. Yes. Very exciting. All right. And on your right is Miss Yorishi, the handsome ah. Miss Yorishi. <laughs> and Miss Yorishi, Miss Yorishi, having been in my employ all these years, mm -hmm. does not go naked on the set, does not own pussy alterations or write music, mm -hmm. is not going to California by truck, and has nothing to say. <laughs> that's correct. No. And there you are. So that's it for Miss Yorishi. But we are going to encourage Miss Yorishi and the rest to put some masks on. Um, if only so we could laugh and point at them. We have no mystery guests this week. Ah, oh, look at them, they're in masks. And we could all sneak out. Can we wear a mud mask? Their masks are in place. Yeah, We're simply going to tiptoe out of the studio and let them sit there and see how long it takes before they realize <laughs> that they've been on a snipe hunt. A snipe hunt, can you imagine? <laughs> all right, no, um, we're going to have a mystery guest when we get back. You all know the rules at home. You've seen 4,000 episodes of this program. This program is beginning to look more and more like Gunsmoke anyway. <laughs> I kept watching Gunsmoke and begging someone to go in and, and gun down Amanda Blake. Or, or to, I wish Festus. that Doc Stone would have a, a heart attack. Oh, I begged for some. I wish Festus would get gang green in that limpy <laughs> leg of his and go. And I'm sure you're Kitty hoping on. the same and thing at home about her. this we show. I'm sorry, what, Kevin? Fester. We'll have Miss Kitty on and I'll bring her down to my pussy. Yes, <laughs> exactly. You see, I walked into that one. Yes, all right, you can did. walk into this commercial by our sponsor, but please walk back onto our program in 60 seconds. A tutelar. <laughs> we are back live with Be My Guest from 88's down in Greenwich Village. And as you heard from the applause, we have our mystery guest here. And ladies and gentlemen of the panel, I would like to tell you that our mystery guest is a beloved figure of the entertainment world, a star, a well-known star, and I'd like to begin the questioning with, um, let's try Olivia Negron this week. Ah, thank you, Sybil. Oh, mystery guest. That's correct. You've gotten our mystery <laughs> guest identity. Thank you. Take off your mask. No, no, no. Just a teasing. Beloved figure. Oh, mystery guest, uh, are we correct in assuming that you come to us from the great beyond? <laughs> yes. Yes, oh, you are correct I in assuming hear. that. And that was beautifully phrased. And Miss Yorishi, I hope that you will learn to phrase that touchy <laughs> question in future episodes. Are we correct in assuming that you are from the great beyond? Let's all say that together in three word segments. Are we correct in assuming that you are from the great beyond? You never ever say, are we correct in assuming that you are dead on a pavement on a turnpike somewhere? Or are you dead? Are you smashed? No, are you no, gooshed? No. Are you are using this? <laughs> Mr. Guest, are we correct in assuming that you were female? No. Uh -huh. You are not correct in assuming that, but thank you for asking, and we will move along. That's one down, Miss Yorishi. Dead dick on our hands. Are, we, <laughs> are we correct in assuming <coughs> that you are in film? Yes. Among many talents, yes, film is a strong contender. Are we correct in assuming that we've seen you live as well? Oh, yes. L live as in on stage? As in or on, on stage? Yes. yes. That yes. Live theater, that sort of yes. thing, live entertainment. We call it the legitimate. Legitimate, story. yes, as opposed to fake. Or illegitimate. Um, <laughs> or illegitimate, as this program is. Go on. <laughs> um, are we safe in assuming that... Um, you are American. Yes. Are we safe in assuming that you are human? Ooh, absolutely. <laughs> You're doing very well, Miss Yorishi. Oh, yes, and I don't He's know getting a lot of yeses, yeses. Yeah. 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 I appreciate all of I've gone through all of our producers' questions. Now, what's next? <laughs> yes, uh, you've run through your, your braille name? card no. on the... Your I guess it's time to start? rack up another olive for you, honey. <laughs> Uh, no. no. Come on. Uh, does your name start with a V? No. Do we, you were doing so well, and then suddenly, um, are you from the planet Neptune? Or did you do lots of films for MGM? Are you? Do you glow in the dark? <laughs> I mean, it, was, it was like a non sequitur if ever there was one. All right, that's two down. A, a valiant effort, though. V for valiant. A valiant effort, but not quite. I'll attribute enough. it to someone later. All right. <laughs> Suka, it's your turn. 
Were you most active in cinema during the 40s and 50s? No. No, that's a no. <sighs> well, that was easy to get up. <laughs> <laughs> Mystery guest, are you a character actor? <clears throat> yes. Uh, Mystery guest, did And you an extraordinary act a character actor, by mm -hmm. the way. Uh, Mystery guest, were you in westerns? No. No. That's four down, Olivia. Oh, mystery guest, you could be anyone from Ward Bond to James Cagney. Don't you try that again, you little oh. vixen. <laughs> I have had it with you. Just testing the vibes. Why don't you just bring in a library card drawer full of names and read through it for the audience's benefit? They took away our library card. You know, yeah, oh, more. yes, right. <laughs> oh, mystery guest. Uh... Although you were a character actor, have we seen you in romantic leads? No. No, never. Um, that would be a stretch for the, the extraordinary talent of our mystery guest, but I'm afraid that's too great a stretch. Uh, that's five down and uh, five to go. Miss Yurishi. So um, Mr. Guest, have we ever seen you in uh, uh, something musical, films or live? Yeah. Most definitely, yes. Absolutely. Um, is Carol Channing living? <laughs> yes. Is Carol Channing a man? Yeah. <laughs> we think so. <laughs> All right. Let's not be. Let's not be vicious. V for vicious. V for Dixon. V for Valiant. Oh. Uh, um, Mr. Guest, would we know you from earlier than the '30s? Yes. Would we know you from silent films? No. Oh. No, that was very good, though, Miss Yurishi. Our mystery guest's uh, career spanned a very long time and, in fact, appeared in V for Vaudeville. There's a cue for you. Although I don't think that that should be your direction of questioning, but our, our mystery guest was well known in V for Vaudeville, all right? But let's really focus on, on the 60s, particularly. Oh. Shall we? Wait. All right, Zuka? The 60s. So then it's safe in assuming that you did comedy. Yeah. Most definitely. Absolutely. Well, that's that. I'm, oh. you. <laughs> I'm going to tell you something, Suka. Yes. Our mystery guest did a program on television which was extremely moving and did a film which was extremely moving. So even though our mystery guest is very well known for comedy, he has been capable of giving ex very, very poignant performances as well. Mickey Rooney, Mickey Rooney is still <coughs> alive. Oh, damn. Yeah. It's true. Yeah, we were all like, so I thought you were going to do that it me. I assume when I say <laughs> poignant that you thought of Mickey Rooney because of his very poignant and moving performances in in such programs as Sugar Babies and, uh, no, and no, Andy no. Hardy Gets a Hard On or something. I mean, really. Um, go on, though, Suka. Do you have a hunchback? <laughs> I, I want to, I really want to stop the program for a second. And we must guard against, are you from the planet Neptune? Do you have a hunchback? Do you glow in the dark? Do you have a nose growing out of the back of your head? We follow certain rational questioning and then suddenly we give the home audience a feeling that perhaps we have syphilis. I don't know. It's something scary. <laughs> that our minds are well, going and that we have tertiary syphilis. All no, right, um, Olivia. Oh, mystery guest. This is if our you're last guest. Lon so. Chaney Jr., then please answer this question. If you're not? <laughs> that's it. That's, that's a nose on the back of the head. All right, I'm going to give you a, a, a clue. Please. Our mystery guest um, has done many famous appearances, but is really one of the most famous appearances of all time was in a film with Julie Andrews. The blockbuster of all time was Julie Andrews and Dick Van Dyke. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you're right. It's Diary of Anne Frank. Will you please take off your masks and meet Edwin, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> well, thank you. Oh, Ed. Edwin, Ed. Oh. Please, Mr. Wynn, say hello to our panel. Good evening. Hello. <laughs> it's so nice to be here. I'm so happy Ed, that, Edwin, that I was able to stump all of you. All right, now, just a second. We're going to take a commercial break, and we'll be right back to talk with Mr. Wynn about his career, and we'll see you in just one minute. A tutelo. A tutelo. Bye. <laughs>